Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to upload dataset from local machine or from Google Drive or from GitHub into Google Collaboratory. In the previous video, I have already discussed how can we use Google Collaboratory for implementing machine learning projects with free GPU and TPU. Link for that video is given in the description below. There are mainly three different ways to upload the dataset into Google Collab. Before we upload the dataset into Google Collaboratory, the very first thing what we need to do is uh, we need to sign into Google account and then we need to log into this particular URL that is collab.research.google.com. Once you open this particular URL, you need to click on new notebook so that you will get the new Jupyter notebook. Now we will discuss the very first method to upload the dataset into Google Collaboratory. Let us assume that uh, the data set is available in the local machine and then we want to upload that particular data into Google Collab so that we can implement our machine learning projects. So if to upload the data set from local machine into Google Collaboratory, first we need to import files from this particular google.collab. Once you import this particular files, we need to use this particular function that is known as files.upload. Once you execute this particular thing that is files.upload, it will display two options. The first option is to choose file. The second option is to cancel upload. Once you click on this particular choose file, you will get a file explorer where you can navigate from different folders and then you can go to the place where your data set is present. So in this case, this is the data set which is present under this PC desktop data set. Once you navigate over here, you need to select this particular data set and then you need to click on this particular open here. So once I do that particular thing, my data set from local machine will be uploaded into Google Collaboratory and then it will give you a message something like this one. The saving iris.csv, this is the original file name to iris.csv. Again, this will be saved with the same name in Google Collaboratory over here. That is what actually we need to do. So once you upload your data into Google Collaboratory, if you want to check whether it is uh, correctly uploaded or not, or if you want to use that particular data set, you have to read that particular data set into your machine learning project. For that reason, I will use the pandas library. We need to import the pandas as a PD. That is a PD is the alias name over here. Next, we will use this particular function that is read CSV from this particular pandas. And then I will pass this particular file name that is iris.csv. And then I will execute this particular thing. Once I execute it, this particular data set will be loaded into this particular data frame that is known as DF. And then I will execute a function called as df.head so that I will display that particular first uh, five rows of the data set. If we are able to display the first five rows of this particular data set, the meaning is we were able to upload this particular data set uh, in Google Collaboratory successfully. And then we were able to read that particular data. Now, once you execute this particular thing, we should be able to get the first five rows of that particular data set. And it should look something like this. Now we were able to upload the data set as well as we were able to read that particular data set and display it over here. So this is the first method where we are uploading the data set from local machine to Google Collaboratory here. The second case is, so let us assume that the data set is present in GitHub. Now how to upload that particular data set into Google Collab and then uh, continue implementing the machine learning project. So very first thing what we need to do is we need to get the URL where that particular data set is present. For that reason, first we need to log into this particular GitHub account and then we need to select the repository where that particular data set is present. So in this case, the data set is present in this particular repository. So I will click on this particular thing. Once I click on this particular thing, the repository will get open here. And then you can notice here the data set is listed over here. Now I click on this particular data set. Once I click on this particular iris.csv, I'll be getting this particular page where I'll be able to see the data over here. Now this particular data is present in GitHub here. Now what I need to do is I need to click on this particular raw or you can say that right click on this particular thing and then uh, I need to get this particular link that's a one option or else I need to click on this particular raw. Once I click on this particular raw the raw content of that particular data set will be displayed here and then you, here you can notice this is the link of that particular data set which is present on the GitHub here. I need to copy this particular thing and then I need to paste it over here the URL is equal to the URL of that particular data set here. Now, once you set this particular URL uh, to this particular variable URL, next uh, you can use this particular read CSV from pandas and then you can read the data. The data will be read into this particular DF. Again, you can use this particular df.head so that you will be able to display the first five rows of that particular data set here. 
Now, once you execute this particular thing, you will be able to get the same first five rows of that particular data set. If you get this particular thing, the meaning of this one is you are able to upload the data from GitHub into Google Collaboratory as well as you are able to read that particular data set and display it over here. So this is the second method or the second case you can see where the data set is available on the GitHub and then we were able to load that particular thing into Google Collaboratory here. The third uh, case is let us assume that the data is available on Google Drive and we want to upload that particular data into Google Collaboratory. Now how can we do that particular thing? In that case, first we need to import drive from this particular google.collab here. Once you import this particular drive from google.collab, the next thing is to we need to mount it. How can we mount it? Drive.mount, this is the function we need to use and then we need to pass this particular path. What is that particular path? slash content slash drive this is the path we need to mention now once you mention this particular thing and execute this it will ask you to connect to your google drive you need to click on this particular connect to google drive once you click on this particular thing it will ask you to select the account where that particular data is available you need to select your gmail account and then you need to click on this particular allow button so that it can access your google drive and then it will load that particular data set into google collab here so once you click on this particular allow, your Google Drive will be mounted into Google Collaboratory over here. And then you will be getting something like this as a message over here. Now next thing what we need to do is, we need to uh, get the path where that particular data set is available on your Google Drive. This is the path where my data set is available. But the question is how to get this particular thing. For that reason you can see here, because you have already mounted your Google Drive into Google Collab, you need to click on this particular icon that is nothing but the files here. Once you click on this particular thing, you need to navigate to your to the folder where your data is available. So the entire data is available in content. Within that, there is a main folder called as a drive here. Within that, there is another folder called as my drive. Within that, your entire uh, data is available here. Within that, my data is available in data set. Within this particular data set, the file name is iris.csv. So this is the path that is content slash drive slash my drive slash data set slash iris dot csv that is the path i hope you can see that particular thing the same thing is listed here still if you are not able to get that particular path directly right click on this particular iris dot csv and then you can click on copy link here and then you can paste it over here now once you paste that particular path here and then uh, uh, the path is available uh, in this particular variable path here and then you can read that particular data set Again, you can display the first five rows. If you are able to display the first five rows from that particular path, the meaning of this one is you are able to upload the data from Google Drive into Google Collab and you are able to read it and then display it here. So once the data is available in your Google Collab, you can implement any machine learning project and then you can perform any analysis over here. So this is how we can upload the data set from your local machine into Google Collab, from Google Drive to Google Collab as well as from GitHub to Google Collab here. I hope the concept is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.